Well, this is a nuke. It's a five frame. It's old. I mean, we're gonna light it up. This will calm them down pretty well. Uh, get them very, very quiet. All right, here we go. Beekeeper Nathan Smith is as busy as the bees he's working to catch these days. Today I had like eight calls in like an hour. This is the heart of swarm season when the hive gets overcrowded and half splits to find a new home. But typically the bees stay there in that position uh, for a couple of days, sometimes a couple hours, sometimes five, ten minutes. These bees buzzed into John Rush's woodland backyard while Rush was there to watch. Big swarm of bees come over the fence and so I got my dog went back in the house <clears throat> and I went back out today and I thought they had that big swarm out there on the on the limb. Yeah, if he called Smith, the 24 year old who's made bees his world okay. and carries that sting around with him. I don't know why we like getting stunned, but we do. Like today I only got four stains, but yesterday I got like 70 at once in like two minutes. Bam, bam, bam all over me. Seven years into this beekeeping adventure, Smith has enough confidence to stay in shorts and a t-shirt while yeah. handling swarms. Why no bee suit? Again, I feel confident in the bees. Bee swarms typically contain between 5,000 and 20,000 bees. This swarm has about 8,000. They're very docile right now as they don't have a home to protect. This year, they've been especially active due to the rain, preventing them from getting out as much until now. And that causes for the hive to so massively reproduce, make so many bees, new bees. The swarms they create end up attached to nearly anything, even in backyards. While removal is a job best left to the professionals, Smith says you don't need to be alarmed. I trust the bees. Uh, I trust myself. I just know what they can do. I mean. I feel pretty confident. Even if they do stain me, it doesn't bother me. In Woodland, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.